is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 18 Ultimate Team game. We are back into salary cap mode today and we have a tough game on our hands judging by our opponent's top three players. His offense especially looks extremely dynamic. Amari Cooper and Chris Carter as his top receivers. Carson Palmer as the quarterback chucking it and it's caught by John Ross. The speedster making the aggressive catch. Not what he's known for. Not sure how we gave that up. Next play, that's not going to be caught. So he's got a lot of weapons. Tevin Coleman at the running back position is one of them. But Coleman not able to get anything on the ground. Palmer on third down. Firing. But the ball is stripped away and incomplete. And in comes Sebastian Janikowski. He kicked the 45-yard field goal. Not an easy thing in this year's game. But it looks like he bought the kicker and used the kicker, more importantly, with some salary cap points to be able to make that one go up three. Zero. Not the worst result of that drive considering it was mainly produced by John Ross aggressive catch now our offense comes on the field on second down and he sends some pressure off the edge gets a man unblocked as a result of the play that he called now it's third down and long Tyrod Taylor leaving the pocket and Tyrod Taylor getting the first down he was running for his life away from multiple defenders thankfully he came through and we get a new set of downs that allows us to go downfield to John Ross next play downfield again Chad Johnson for the touchdown he sent that same blitz again so he had a guy coming in unblocked on that right side and we had to make a quick quick read thankfully we were able to find the open man but that's something we definitely have to watch as this game goes on the fact that he keeps on sending that one blitz where a linebacker just comes in looping on the right side unblocked in the meantime, though, we got to focus on playing some defense, and we got him on a third down and long. Here's some pressure. Not able to get the pass off. Frank Clark with the sack, and on fourth down and 20, he keeps the offense on the field. Curious decision as Palmer just going to chuck it, and it's caught. It is caught by John Ross once again. Like I said, he is known for his speed, not his catch in traffic, so... The fact that we keep on giving those up are pretty frustrating. I felt like we came out in good defensive play calls four times in a row and just gave that one up. And now here he is trying to get the lead with a touchdown with Coleman to the six-yard line. He goes. He can't get a first down and about the one-yard line as Palmer taking a lot of time to find someone. Too much time taken down by Frank Clark. And now third down and 11. Palmer once again indecisive and going to get sacked for a loss of seven by Bruce Irvin. Good coverage in the red zone. Like he didn't have much of a red zone offense to work with right there. And he kicks his second field goal of the game. And once again, I mean, considering the drive was produced by John Ross aggressive catch, I'll take two field goals, but at some point that needs to stop as we go to our own John Ross, but that's swatted away second down McCaffrey. Last time McCaffrey was on the field, he had over 150 yards rushing, so we definitely want to feed him the rock as he gets the sack from Shaq Thompson on third down, and that brings out our punting unit, and this punt is shanked. So he's going to get the ball at midfield, only needing a field goal to take the lead before half. But what a hit from Frank Clark. His third sack of the first half alone as he fires it. Man, he's really risking it with these passes. Third down and long. Palmer corner. Ross doesn't get both feet in bounds. And he punts the ball to us. We have John Ross ready to return. No fair catch. Ross swerving away. John Ross in open field. Good night. That is a surefire touchdown. Once the man with 91 speed sees nothing but green grass ahead, you might as well stop trying to chase him and that was like what the return team tried to do because they weren't even close to Ross so we burn a couple extra seconds get the touchdown and get the football right back he tries to lateral it and here we are with one chance for a Hail Mary but he gets the sack from Miles Gary sending a lot of pressure at us so as we start the ball with or start the second half with ball we got to make sure we watch out for that pressure but the big thing is we are starting off the second half up 14 to 6 as opposed to 7 to 6 thanks to that John Ross punt return and that's why he's on the team simply for speed as Taylor is sacked by Shaq Thompson a lot of sacks going around in this game third down and long Tyrod throwing perfect pass the Colt Cruz on the post 
for the first down as we go to Christian McCaffrey. Look at those butts. And look at McCaffrey with the breakaway speed. Christian McCaffrey trying to break this game open up 6-21. to 21. All we really need is one defensive stop. And I feel good about our chances to win this game because our offense has been moving the ball well. It's just as long as we continue those John Ross aggressive catches as Carson Palmer just overthrows a simple slant round. Next play, Palmer feeling pressure. Let's it loose. And it's caught by Chris Carter. And Carter in a foot race. The 10, the 5, and he tiptoes in for the touchdown to get him back in it. And once again, man, I feel like we're playing good coverage. I thought Jalen Ramsey was there, but I don't know. He just didn't break on the football. Just kind of the way Madden 18 is. The defensive backs are really inconsistent with the way they play the football. And we find ourselves down 13-0. But I feel like we got guys there. It's just as long as someone breaks and makes a play one time first. Just one time, we can win this game. But in the meantime, our offense is ready to get in a shootout. Ross with the catch. McCaffrey with the handoff with the score. The rookie duo, Christian McCaffrey and John Ross putting their stamps on this game. As Taylor with time, but nothing open. Pressure forces the art. Tyra Taylor, that's Carson Palmer on his team. Second down and 10. Palmer gets the catch. I don't know what our guys are doing. I'm facing the right way, but that's just the way salary cap is. You don't get to have the best defensive players on the field, so sometimes these games can't end in shootouts. Thankfully, fourth down. Lady Luck finally stops striking for him, and he ends up dropping the football. Now we need is just get one score. One score makes it a three-possession game, and there just won't be enough time in the fourth quarter for him to get back in this game. But third down and seven, we have a decision because that was not a first down and we keep the offense on the field on Ford passing and hitting Christian McCaffrey for the first down you see Tyrod 7 for 8 having a very productive day hitting the deep bombs to Ross hitting McCaffrey out the backfield one more time a little shovel pass McCaffrey paid the price for that one but we keep the clock moving the most important factor at this point of the game and we don't get the first down but like I said a field goal makes it a three possession game and with 221 left there is simply not enough time for him to make something happen without getting an onside kick. So we pretty much put the game in the batting gods' hands at this point and say, please, just let us escape with the win. Now, I know this guy is pretty good. I, I could, you know, this guy's running certain blitzes. He's making certain, you know, downfield throws. And it's like, yeah, this guy's no scrub. So I want to put this guy away as soon as possible. But he's able to find Amari Cooper. And Cooper breaks away for a 69-yard touchdown catch. Oh man, it just we just need one of those stops and we just could not get. That was a good play there to find the open man, get the run downfield after the catch. But, you know, even though we got that play, all we got to do right here is take away his three timeouts. That's all I want to do on this drive. Take away his three timeouts, or if he doesn't call his timeouts, then run the clock. He doesn't call a timeout on first down, so we just chew it up, give it to McCaffrey, and now he calls his first one. Third down and three. This can ice the game. Not able to get with McCaffrey, and he calls his second timeout. Minute 15 left. We punt the ball on fourth down once again, saying, Matt and God's. Don't do anything, please. Just let us take care of this game. Because even if it gets a touchdown, he needs an onside kick. So we're just going to guard the downfield throw. As he tries to go to John Ross. Ends up being incomplete. Minute three left in the game. Give him anything underneath. He only has one timeout. Keep it in bounds. And try to get a little bit of pressure at Carson Palmer. Third down and ten. Need to move those chains at least. And he's not going to do that with that interception. The Bobby McCain or Bryce McCain. And that will end the game because he ends up rage quitting and we get the victory. It was a tight game there for a while. Thankfully, you know, mainly just our offense just kept on executing a lot of John Ross and Christian McCaffrey got us the victory. We're watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it, subscribe for more. I'll catch you guys next time.